Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bobby and I love movies. So today we are going to be talking about the Rogue One, a Star Wars story trailer that came out like 45 minutes ago. And yes, I am completely naked. The first reason being that I just woke up and didn't even have time to put clothes on before watching this trailer. I'm just too excited. And the second reason is that I, I, I really like clickbaity titles and thumbnails, so. Let's get to this trailer. Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay. State your name for the record. Possession. Rebel helmet. Aggravated assault. Resisting arrest. On your own from the age of 15. Reckless, aggressive. Reusing the sets. From the, value, the new one. I rebel. Oh shit. It's Daisy Ridley part two. A major weapons test is imminent. Oh shit! Oh my god! 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 The AT-ATs, this new kind of storm, it's like a shock trooper. Oh, that's totally a shock trooper from like Star Wars Battlefront. It's actual rebels versus stormtroopers. They brought back like the old Imperial Star Destroyer. My whole face is a little bit numb right now. I did not think I was going to get that excited from this. So you guys saw my review of the other Star Wars movie. I didn't love it. Why am I so excited for this movie? Oh, okay. So let's break it down a little bit. Seems like they used a lot of the sets from the episode seven which that's kind of cool making those sets where they've always been part of the rebel base kind of part of their canon like the little control room and stuff this new character looks like she's like a slightly more rebellious daisy ridley which she has a little bit more of a character than daisy ridley i will be fucking hyped he's fighting with stormtroopers looks fucking insane. Some of the coolest parts about episode seven are when they're actually fighting stormtroopers and they're getting shot and it actually looks like real life battles. Like that opening scene in Star Wars is so fucking cool. And it looks like this is gonna have a lot of that. The design of the fucking Imperial Star Destroyer is ridiculous. Like that is a miniature that they fucking put over this Death Star. They are putting in a lot of effort to make this look like the original Star Wars and I so appreciate that. This is a good trailer. This is like a really, really good trailer. This movie's gonna take place between episode three and four. So we have like this weird mix of like vehicles and weapons we've seen in episode three mixed with kind of the new Empire Stormtrooper uniforms. Oh shit, I just realized it's classic Stormtrooper uniforms, not the new ones. That's why it looks so cool. Oh my god, it's classic Stormtrooper uniforms. I think the Stormtroopers are gonna be the best part of this new movie. I, I honestly think that. I wonder who this like ninja dude is. What does he have? He just has like a, a little old, he just has a tiny little stick as a weapon. Oh, that is the Emperor's ship getting blown up. Is the Emperor gonna be in this movie? Forrest Whitaker, I don't know how I feel about Forrest Whitaker being in this. I think he gets a lot of critical acclaim because he's in some good movies, but I always think he's kind of like one of the strangest parts of the movies he's in. 100% the absolute best shot of this entire trailer is when the rebel soldiers are running, the dude gets blown in the air, and then it pulls up and you see all the AT-ATs shooting at them. I am really interested in seeing what this new character is gonna be like. I mean, obviously she's kind of rebelling and she's I hope she just doesn't do I'm Han Solo but a girl like that would kind of be obnoxious to me because they already have Poe Dameron doing that so I'm really excited to see what her character actually is gonna be and they're keeping the visual aesthetic very similar to episode 7 like everything looks like it matches with episode 7. Episode 8 is gonna be so visually different from this it's gonna be very interesting I mean it's shot by the dude who did Looper and that director has a very distinct visual style which I'm very excited that he's bringing to Star Wars but it will be interesting seeing how different it looks from these movies. <sighs> So overall, I thought it was a really good trailer. Like the trailer for Star Wars Episode Eight, it showed us enough shots to get us interested, but not to give away the plot. I love that a big part of the soundtrack to this trailer is that screaming alarm sound. It added a lot to what 
seems like the gritty realism that they're going for in this. It seems like they're trying to make very much a military film based in the Star Wars universe, which I am 100% down for. I'm really excited to see what the lead character is like. The AT-ATs and the Imperial Star Destroyer look incredible. And based off this teaser, it looks like it's going to be a really fun movie. So yeah, guys, I guess that's it. You can hit me up on Twitter at the Bobby Burns and Instagram at Bobby Burns Official. And I'll see you later, guys. Peace out. I really did just wake up. I just had all my stuff still set up from last night when I shot my God's Not Dead review. See, look. Naked. <laughs> I saw it, dude.